Number 20. Pharisees seek honor from men. Verse 5. 23 5. They do all their deeds to be noticed by men. They do all their deeds to be noticed by men. You know how Jesus said they pray in standing in a corner, blowing a trumpet. Now, Jesus was exaggerating. Jesus was a great master at exaggeration. A speck in somebody's eye and a beam in your eye and things like that. Great. I love to follow Jesus in exaggeration where it drives home a point. Not exaggeration when we are reporting, ah, 2,000 people came to my meeting when about 200 people came perhaps. Not that type of exaggeration which is a lie. But this type of exaggeration which drives home a point. You know, straining out a mosquito and swallowing a camel. I love that. It's great listening to such a preacher. I, I would have loved to listen to Jesus. I would have followed him around everywhere to listen to such wonderful pictures he used about, um, you know, people who do such things. But, uh, so when Jesus said about praying like that, what he meant was that you pray to get honor. Have you ever done that? Any of you holy people ever done that? Prayed in the meeting to get honor from people? I've done it. Uh, <laughs> any honest people here? Okay. <laughs> to get honor. To say, to say something and you're listening with one ear. Is anybody saying Amen? Is anybody saying Hallelujah? Nobody's saying, ah, let me pray with more zeal. Ah, I heard one Amen there. Praise God. This is all hypocrisy. This is Phariseeism. They are not praying to God. They are praying to men. Do you preach ever to get honor? Do you preach? I know times when I've, you know, I judge myself after almost every sermon I've preached in the last 30 years. I've always gone home and judged myself. God has told me so many things in my life. That I say because Lord I want to improve the quality of my preaching. Just like if I'm a cook I want to improve the quality of my cooking. I want to improve the quality of my preaching. I believe that the reason why many people are boring till the day they die because they never judge themselves. They think everything is okay. They won't even ask their wives what they think about their sermons. So uh, if you work on yourself, I know God showed me many times that was not necessary. That other thing was unnecessary. That other thing you said to seek honor. And then I cleanse myself. It gets better and better. So in every area we have this tremendous temptation to seek honor from people. We want people to know what we're giving to God. We want people to know what we're doing for God. We want people to know. Uh, that's why we decided right when we started our ministry that we'd never send a report or a photograph of our work anywhere in the world. We don't want anybody to know. God, it's enough if God knows. <clears throat> Seeking honor is one of the sins which is not spoken about in the church, in most churches. And that's why people continue to seek honor. But to seek honor from people is what makes a Pharisee and with the, the Pharisees can only build Babylon and if you don't cleanse yourself completely from all seeking honor when you pray seeking honor when you preach seeking honor as an elder brother seeking honor in anything you can never build Jerusalem I'll tell you that the more you cleanse yourself from seeking honor the more you'll be able to build the true church of God otherwise it'll only be Babylon it may look beautiful maybe large but it'll be Babylon Babylon is pretty large